Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another Rupan movie. This is not a movie. This is another TV special reaction. And this is a little bit different because today I'm going to react to Rupan versus Detective Conan, the TV special. And the next week I'm going to continue with the movie, which is I think the sequel to this. Now, uh, before we start, I need to talk about a few things. First of all, I think I said this in the previous uh, video as well. But, uh, you know, like this one, uh, I think I have actually seen this, but I don't remember anything because it has been a long while before. And when I saw this, I basically saw this because I was like, you know, I, I watched Detective Conan. That's why I kind of watched this. And at that time, I had no idea what Lu like, you know, who Lupin was and all that thing. I just heard his name and that was all about it. So I barely remember anything about it and it was quite a long while ago that i actually saw this so that's why um i thought about deciding to react to it because at first i thought that let me just react to the sequel movie which i have not seen but then i thought that i barely even remember anything about the specials so i was like okay let me just react to the special first and uh like you know like because i have basically my memory is blank that's why let's react to the special first and then let's i'll react to the movie uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to react to the special TV special. I think this is uh, Like a one hour 45 minutes uh, Episode so I'm going to react to this first then the next week. I'm going to react to the movie and uh, For like, you know now for the inf for the information um, like, you know my, my what can I say? Uh, I have watched detective Conan the anime obviously uh, I'm a big fan of Detective Conan. I've been watching it for quite a long while. I, I've actually been watching Detective Conan from when I was like a teenager or a kid, you know. So, like, you know, like this is one of the first animes that I've actually watched. And when I, like, you know, I realized, like, when we got internet and everything, I really started watching anime, uh, which was like eight years ago. Um, I... I decided to not watch all the episodes because there's like like how many like I think Detective Conan has reached like more than thousands of episodes now so if, like obviously because I did not have that much amount of time I decided to skip all the fillers there's I think there's like a wiki page where it really shows us which are skill, like fillers and which are not I like I like went to that and I only watched the canon episodes and that's how I I'm, I was kind of caught up with Detective Conan and I would what I usually do is I kind of watch all the canon episodes then kind of let it like you know like don't watch it for six or seven months and when more canon episodes accumulates I again watch them all at the same time so that's how I usually do so it's been a while actually that I've watched the recent Detective Conan's episode I've not watched it for quite a long while I plan on doing so again in the future you know because I'm, I'm kind of letting it accumulate a little bit and then I'll go and I'm going to watch like 20 30 canon episodes all at the same time so that's how, how i do it you know so i'm pretty much caught up with detective conan kind of kind of so yeah i won't have any problem like i'm very much familiar with detective conan and now i'm since i'm watching lupin movies as well i'm familiar with lupin as well so this will be like another new experience for me so yeah so let's get started without further ado this is detective uh, lupin 3 versus detective conan uh, the tv special so let's get started i'll be putting in subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever as your preference and let's get started with this episode so all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay kingdom of vespania Private Royal Forest Oh, what's happening here? General Muska West Land Wait, is that Barban? No, uh, no, 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 no No, that, that's someone else, isn't it? It kind of looks similar to Babylon. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, they're hunting. Okay. <laughs> Highness. Oh. Okay, this is not Barbon. He kind of really looked like him. Queen of Hispania. Um, yeah, that's a bit. <laughs> Okay, I'm I'm waiting for when <laughs> Ooh, a fox. Don't kill the fox. Oh my god. Oh, yo oh, missed. Thank god. Oh, is he like making oh I think he's actually uh like you know like kind of scaring them away or something deliberately it's like a single cherry blossom plant in the middle of the field what the hell <laughs> yeah you'll get shot oh no Oh my god! Um, fall fell on her head. Wait, what? Well, obviously, he was not the one who killed her. We know that. Okay, so this will be the crime in this time. Like, who killed her? Oh, another shot. What? Oh, no, he... Okay, obviously... This can either be a suicide or a murder. The second one as well. Wait, he used a pistol. A revolver. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> oh my god. It's been a while I've actually watched Detective Conan. It's kind of... <laughs> nice to see them again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two beer. <laughs> Hispanic queen. Oh, okay. Now, obviously, the main suspect here is that guy. Because I doubt that was suicide. I don't know. Queen of Sakura, Prince Jill of Hispania were killed. Okay. Oh, her name is Queen Sakura. Okay, you know, her hair is pink, that's why. Recently garnered uh, mineral. Oh. Fondness for Japan. Okay. Are we going to see Rupan here? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Boy, this will be interesting. Weird enough, I don't remember anything. I, I, I think I saw this, but no, no. I can't remember anything. It's really weird.
<laughs> My god, that is guys. Okay, he's in Vespania. I'm guessing uh, Conan will also come here seven days later. Princess? Count? Princess Mira. Oh, I'm guessing her daughter. Okay. That matter. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh! Wait, is that Ran? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, is this going to be like something like a. Like. Looks same? Oh my god. This is this is Ran. Like she looks completely. There you go. Julietta Vespaland. Oh my God. Oh my god! We know what's going to happen now. Okay. I'm guessing Ran will be kind of acting as her body double or something. Surely something like that's going to happen. Oh, is it Rupan? Oh my god. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's Jigen. Okay. The Spania Royal Plane. I'm sure Lupin is somehow involved in this. Let's see. Oh no! Is this Rupan in disguise? I think this is Rupan. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm sure this is Rupan. Otherwise he wouldn't want to... Oh no... Yeah. Oh. So how do you get in? <laughs> Problematic. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, Rupan is here. That's really Jigen. Okay.
Hmm. Oh, infer thermal sensor. <laughs> Was it him? Yeah. <laughs> Sightseeing. What? Okay. Vesperite stone. <laughs> oh, it's like a different. Oh my god, the transition. Oh, Sonokos. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no, Mori. Yeah, she he's going for okay, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, are they are they in, already in Japan? Yeah, she is in Japan. Like they look completely the same, Ran and her. <laughs> Four. Oh no, is she, is she going to come? Oh my god, oh my god, everyone's going to freak out, Sonoko, Conan, and Mori. <laughs> okay. Yep, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's true, in a way. Oh no, or oh, maybe people are going to... She might get entangled in some kind of trouble around. Yeah. Does this? <laughs> Sakura Saku. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, like it's all those complications and stuff. <laughs> hmm. No, don't do Um Everyone's keeping an eye. That's Fujiko. That's Fujiko, I can I can say it from her facial structure. <laughs> hmm. 
What? Oh no, is it like poisoned or something? Did he notice something? Probably the glass is poisoned. Yeah. Ah! Oh, there he is! <laughs> What? There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mori. Okay, come on, Mori, show your kar karate. Okay, he's, he's a judo. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, he, he's a judo. Lethal dose of pollen. There you go, the glass. Hmm. It wasn't. It wasn't. What? Okay. Oh my god, yeah, she's going to freak out, like obviously. Oh boy. I wonder if that really was a uh, like someone shot the queen. That's that that we know. But I wonder if the brother really killed himself or if it was someone else. I'm I'm guessing I'm guessing it was someone else. It's probably not him. It's not it was not suicide. It was yeah, let's wait for it. Hired, okay. What? Foreigner. So, okay, so they came from Vespan to Japan. Yeah, I wonder how. Oh, okay. The smell. Somalia needs, needs to keep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, it, it is something that I knew from some television program, you know. <laughs> oh my god, did she run away? Yeah, she ran away, I think. There you go. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is a... I wonder what Fujiko's goal actually is this time. 
like Oh my god Whoa, what? Oh, okay, that's her There you go <laughs> Oh my god Oh, damn. Oh, no. Don't. Oh, my God. She's running out in the streets. Oh, my God. This guy is still... Did they like... Did they like... Uh, okay. I thought they probably put some transmitter on her or something. There you go. And... <laughs> yeah, this is going to happen. <laughs> Imagine the shock when you see your face in front of you. Suddenly. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very appropriate <laughs> reaction. Well, Ran knows. <laughs> oh my god, he, he's going to make. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> Run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're so happy. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh. The way he talks. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's, it's the skateboard. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I wish I could say such thing. Wait, she smokes? <laughs> oh, two years older. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's fine. But she's a princess, so I... Okay, but you know... Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> uh, nah. Mm. 
Oh, no, don't say that. Oh my god, she'll be like, yeah, you take my place. Uh, I, there you go. Oh my god. But in a way, you know, no one can harm her, that means. You can like, run nose to fight, so... If someone actually tries to kidnap her or something... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Oh no, she ran away. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's like, what? He's like, yo, you're the princess. <laughs> um, that won't work. What? No, you're. God damn it, Colin, you're a detective. <laughs> Don't <laughs> get distracted like that. Oh no. Oh my god. Is that Fujika? What's with the voice? It sounds like Vermouth. Isn't... Yeah, the voice sounds like Vermouth. That's not Fujiko's voice. Or am I mistaken? No, not Vermouth. It, it, uh, I don't know. Oh, is it was it Jody? Uh, anyways, let's wait for it. It's been a while I've watched Jet of Corner. I've forgotten a lot of things about the characters, especially their voices, kind of. Wow, what the music? <laughs> Shinichi is it? <laughs> oh boy. As far as I remember, they did a play like this, didn't they? In, in the school uh, festival or... Yeah, I think I remember that. <laughs> wow, look at the amount of people. <laughs> All the birds flying. <laughs> oh, my God. My God! <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Lady long legs. <laughs> no, no, I think this is Fujiko's voice. I'm, I'm kind of getting... Yeah? My god! Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Oh, no, never mind. Wow, they they have like a mach light machine gun, not even a pistol. Oh, Fujiko also has an SMG, so I guess. Oh boy. Nah, they're fine. <laughs> Two men per car. Oh, interesting. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, yeah. Kind of. Oh! He knows the shortcut. There you go. <laughs> oh, there... Lightening the load. Woo! <laughs> okay. Woo! Wow, that's a huge jump. <laughs> it's just it's flying on top. Wow. Well, this is Conan, I guess, so yeah, you should be accustomed to these. Oh no! Oh my god, there goes his skateboard. Oh, damn. Uh. Um, have you put a transmitter or something on her? Yeah. <laughs> you do look a bit cleverer. <laughs> ah, boy. Hmm. 
He's wait. Is he like the culprit or something? Like his he's so adamant in not involving anyone. Like, that's really weird in a way. Oh wow! Now they're going to use her. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, they're going to What the hell? Yeah, like he's he's not even letting the police get involved and doing whatever the hell he wants to. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I feel like this guy is kind of, kind of suspicious. Or maybe not, I don't know. It's kind of giving weird vibes. Up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, he's giving weird vibes. So, I don't know. Like his whole... Yeah, the original princess. You can do that, I guess, you know? Oh, that guy, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. What? Oh no! <laughs> okay, what's Rupan doing? <clears throat> hmm? What? What is that? Okay. Vesperite. <clears throat> hmm. Ultimate in stealth. Oh, interesting. Ah, okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, okay. They're trying to find it. 
Yeah, how do you even find this then? Oh, dowsing. What? Is it that easy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what's Fujiko chan doing? Wow. She's quite lucky, she's winning in Oh so she really does like sushi. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what? They're not allowing it or what? Wait. It <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. Like they're using Ran as like a like you know dummy, but they're not even allowing them to. Yeah, like why? Oh my god. Oh, that, that, is that it? <laughs> Don't throw it, it, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. True. Yeah, it's dangerous. What? Wait. What? <laughs> Jigen seems a little bit too expressive in this movie, I think. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's why he, <laughs> he covered his face. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Yeah. Too late. Hmm. 
<laughs> wow. Just shoot it down. <laughs> no. Oh boy. And they're doing just that. Wow. Well, the hard boiled way. Yeah. Wow. Great. Yeah, this guy's fishy. Nah, they're going to take you. Oh my god. What? I don't I don't trust him. <sighs> Anyways, let's see. Wait, why? What was Fujiko's plan? Like, what? Why did he do? She do this? I doubt this is her only plan. There must be something else. Like, ah. Uh. <laughs> Letter of resignation. <laughs> there you go. I knew it. This guy was fishy. Like, I don't... Like, I don't think he's the culprit, but she probably, he probably has some other plan. Oh my God. Quick, quick. Okay. Like, I wonder what the plan actually is. Like, they're actually trying to take a body double. And... Oh, boy. Jump. Oh, no, he doesn't even have his skateboard. I forgot about that. Oh no. Okay, there he is. Oh boy. Yeah, this is... Ah, oh, great. Oh! What? <laughs> wow, 
I never thought I'd see him here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah! Perfect for this! Nice! <laughs> and he didn't, doesn't have to... <laughs> and he doesn't have to resign! Yes! Yeah, there you go! What? Yeah, what, what's he going to do with that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Completely opposite from that. <laughs> yeah, right. And I can just fly, fly a plane, you know? Yeah. So everyone's going to Hispania now. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, was that like a photo I'll break? Yeah, like what is their plan actually? Oh, that's what he meant. I was like, what? Uh. Oh no, did they find Conan? Yeah, they found him. Oh, yeah, he was stuck there. Oh, my God. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, that's what it did. <clears throat> Frostwriter. Yeah, please, like about time. God damn. I think they're actually trying to find the real criminals. That's what they're trying to do. That's why Iran is probably like the best body double that they can use. You know, and the actual the real princess will be fine and safe. Oh, they're here. <laughs> Oh my god, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Borrowed. <laughs> oh my god oh that's right <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 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 
the usual pattern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Move the date of forward. Wait, who the hell is that? Oh, Jigan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what is the actual thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just thought about it. So it was him actually. Hmm. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she'll become the princess. Yeah. Yeah. Five years. Hmm. Probably not. Yeah, after the death. Well, she probably she hasn't cried any or you know. Yeah. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I've no idea. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, what's oh the car is oh my god busted or something. <laughs> oh 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 no.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> wow, that's not a question you should ask your papa. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, you are a gunman. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> oh no. What? Oh, are they going to meet here? Oh my god. <laughs> Hidden <laughs> pressure point. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's a record. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be partners. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you really did take two. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> oh great. <sighs> Assistant. Yeah, patrol. <laughs> Lupan run. Oh boy. <laughs> and oh my god <laughs> it is someone's <laughs> oh my god okay Uh, I have res one resignation. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh no! <laughs> Give up? Haha. <laughs> yeah. Once again. Safe. Oh no, is this? Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I don't think so. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I'll definitely do it. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. There's a resemblance. Wait, who's he talking about? It's probably something related to Rupan, which I probably don't know because I've not watched the anime. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, that's why the uh branch. Oh. No. Oh.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, that's what about the branch? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the branch oh it burned. So it came from down. From there, it cannot be done. Like, how is it even possible? The end of charity from that hill. What? No, no. That's not what happened. Crap. <laughs> International lawyer. <laughs> there you go. Fuji Mineko, great. <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah, how is it even possible? Yeah. Fuji <laughs> Mineko <laughs> What? <clears throat> oh, wait, this soccer ball. Hmm. Wait, so why did he hire her? Oh, wait. Oh, that's why. Oh, I was wondering why is Fujiko actually like just like Okay, so this is what was happening. Okay, it makes sense now, kind of. <clears throat> Lawyer.
Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god, the same conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, that is hell. <laughs> It it is her, I think. Yeah, it is her. Okay, it is her. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's not her. We're all here, yeah. Hmm. A lot of uh, awards. Yeah, we're still not sure if that's actually him, but it kind of feels like there's a lot of. Stone. A lot of awards. Oh, what's that? Powder? Bullets? What are those? Wait, what is that? No, that, that's not a bullet. What is that thing? Karara. Wait, they're already asleep? Yeah. <laughs> Run! Oh! <laughs> she, she was like, yeah, I don't need this. Like some cheap stuff. Oh no. <laughs> they got her a bit too quick. <sighs> okay, it is him. 
like he was the only one that was present there so it, it's kind of a big giveaway that the culprit is actually him <laughs> ah <laughs> yeah Oh, going on is. I was wondering when, when he's going to come. Yeah, I mean, he's just chilling in, on top of a, an airplane. <laughs> Whoa! Damn. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god, is he like going to make use of Zenigata? Oh no, he... Oh no! <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Change into the correct frequency first. There you go. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Yeah! Wait, what? Wait, is that, that's Rupan! Oh my god! Oh no! I was thinking, why did Mori suddenly move from there? I was like, did he like... <laughs> they got me. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Right hand, okay. Right temple. Oh. There you go. So it's not a suicide. Oh. Okay. Okay. Did it? He... 
Oh, that's why. That's why he thought he was right handed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hmm. Okay. And he shot him using the rifle? No, not the rifle, the pistol, revolver. <laughs> Switched. The rifle and install. Oh. Wait, was that like a dummy? Dummy ammo? No, what is what was that? Okay, there you go, this is blank. Okay. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Yeah Hunting without a... Wait, what? Oh, that was blank. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> oh, okay, she was a hunter, okay. All right, that's why she, she had some, okay. And shooting, <clears throat> and marksmanship, yeah. Three years. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I'm sure they've done something about it. What? Oh great. God damn. Nah, it's for your own. Oh god. Oh god. Two hundred years. Oh. Nah, he's not going to betray them. <laughs> yeah, he also realized you gave it away so much. My God. <laughs> Nine million. What? Oh. <laughs> Run is like Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's And that's why he killed her? Wow, like what? Oh my god. Great, this guy. Oh wait, that's Fujiko! That's Fuziko, isn't it? Yeah, it's Fuziko. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh no. Um, run! Yeah.
Oh my god, critically injured. Oh, that's why! Oh, I was wondering. That's why she, he said that it reminded me of someone. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the... Most probably the branch, like... Yeah, like, it, it's positioning is weird. Oh, okay, that's why. Oh. Oh, alright, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, that was really good. And I barely remembered anything. As I said, I I can kind of secret from <laughs> Okay, okay. Like I felt as if I remembered a few things, the whole setting I remembered, but other than that I forgot about everything. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Hey, what? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Wait. What? Oh yeah, okay. Oh no. I got the kid. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, did they kidnap him? Oh, that will be the sequel, I guess. Yeah.
Papa. <laughs> okay, he knew it. <laughs> okay, he knows. So why did they take him? Oh, they're helping him, okay. <laughs> A friendship. <laughs> Favorite saved. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh no, oh yeah, she she will be really interested in that. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay, that was really good. My god. Okay, all right, so obviously this is This is kind of a prequel to the movie I guess and Obviously, I'm going to do the movie next week. Wow, that was really good And as I said, I had actually watched this before but it was so long ago. I barely remembered anything at all and <clears throat> I Remembered I kind of remembered the setting of it, you know, the whole princess thing. I kind of remembered that but other than that, nothing. I really did not, I, I had no clue of what's happening and how it's going to go. So <clears throat> that's why, like, you know, it was a really enjoyable experience and uh, yeah, everything felt really new. Okay, so <clears throat> this, this was the TV special and the, it's kind of written that the sequel to this is Lupin versus Detective Conan, the movie. So, yeah now i'm sure like I, I don't know if if this is going to continue from here in the next movie or not we'll get to know that in the next week when i'm going to react to the movie itself so okay so this movie here one thing i need to go check it out properly is the explanation uh, since i was reacting to this i was properly unable to kind of pay attention to that portion let's check that out again where they were kind of explaining the whole thing um Okay, so first of all, that was the thing that uh, they found were like blanks in uh, Sakura's room. Okay, and I also understood the whole thing of like, you know, the, the prince was actually like left-handed, but he was taught to do stuff with his right hand as well. And since the rifle had like, you know, the lever in the right hand side, he used his right hand side. And that's why the guy confused got confused and did not realize that he's left-handed he thought he was right-handed so after killing him he put the gun the revolver in his right hand <clears throat> okay and okay now here's the, the after this this is where i kind of got a little bit lost because uh, I wasn't able to pay proper attention to this portion. Let's check it out again. He says, uh, Lupin says, that after that is where you made your fatal mistake. After seeing the prince handling the rifle with his right hand, you didn't think twice before, okay, we know that, putting the pistol there. All right, so. <clears throat> okay, and here we see that he actually killed her in front of him in front of the prince and after that he just shot him as well okay and <laughs> you know the weird thing that i was i felt kind of like 
the thing I felt a little felt a little bit weird here is after this scene we see kind of uh, the princess talking about it and we see the maid kind of looking at her in a like you know kind of staring at her I was like why is the maid staring at her like this later on we got to know that was actually um, Fujiko <laughs> that's why she was actually doing that <laughs> my god that kind of I kind of felt weird at that moment I was like why is she looking at her like this like what's the matter here but yeah now it makes sense okay mm, then Gerard I think that was his name okay inspector uh, yeah okay just a sec okay now then uh, you insist that it was all an accident right and that this is the rifle that we used to shoot Queen Sakura. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Alright, so you switched them. Because of the rifling, you swapped your rifle with the princess. Your rifle. Wait, what? Your rifle with the princess after. Wait, so his rifle, Gerard's rifle, was had the original bullets in it. The prince's rifle had the false bullets in it. Okay, so what Oh, okay, so what he did was he actually switched it after killing the queen because of the marking. He switched his rifle which has the original bullets with um with the prince's rifle so the rifle that he held at that moment was the one with the fake bullets and the one he handed to the prince had the original bullets out of which one of the bullets hit the uh, queen and it you know like he made it like that so that it f it feels as if it was an accident and after seeing that he killed the queen prince the prince shot himself as well okay so that's what was happening and the the rifle that is in Rupan's hand now is the one that Gerard had after he switched the rifle. That is, it was actually the prince's rifle. And that's why when Rupan shot him, you know, it, 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 it was a blank because it was actually like he thought that it was his rifle, you know, which had the original bullets. So when he shot, he got scared. He thought that, oh my God, he's shooting me. But Rupa knew that it was actually the prince's rifle and the prince's rifle has blanks in it. Okay, so that's what I this, this portion I kind of got a little bit confused. Now uh, that I'm looking at it again, I'm okay, I'm being able to understand it properly. In a way, I have to say the the the, the whole case in this uh, movie was a little bit easier in my opinion, actually to guess, guess the culprit because Detective Conan has some really what can i say difficult culprits like where like you know so many things are like it's, it's very what can i say uh, most of the most of the cases are very complicated and takes a lot of brain to actually realize but but we kind of like you know we're able to guess the culprit from the beginning because there were barely any people to put the blame on this is like only one person one main person there you know that was the the, the uncle and there was a little bit of time when i kind of suspected the other guy uh, Keith, I think that was his name, because the way he was acting so suspiciously, you know, I, I thought maybe is, is he like trying to somehow assassinate the princess or something? I thought something like that's happening, you know, and that's why I kind of like suspected him for a moment of time. Then I actually realized that nah, the thing that he's actually doing is for actually for the princess's benefit. So that, like then it became really apparent that who the culprit was like the the only guy that's left the uncle the Geralt or whatever his name was um he was the culprit and the what can i say the whole uh the clues here were also in a way i have to say like unlike the way i've seen detective conan you know like all the other different uh cases in detective conan be it a movie or be it an anime the clues here were kind of hidden in a way which is kind of unlike detective like, what can i say like which is not the thing that detective conan actually does like 
all the detective conan like you know cases that i have seen are in some way they show us the clue as an audience we kind of see the clue itself and we also try to make out something you know but here the a few things that they kind of hit in the beginning is the whole thing with um the awards and the picture they kind of hit that whole section you know if if they should probably if they showed us that all those things at that moment we would have we would have probably been able to guess guess at that time quite easily what happened but they did not show us that I was like, what awards are they and what is the picture? The picture really shows that he's, le he's left-handed. So that's why they did not show us that. And, you know, like mm, all that section uh, and, and the awards as well. So, and another thing they kind of showed us, but I wasn't able to recognize what it was, is the bullets. I thought that, I, I was like, what are those? Are those bullets? And then when they explained it, I realized those are actually blanks. Like, you know, the, the I'm guessing the gunpowder portion or something that they, you know uh, the uh, sakura kind of took out so that it became blank it was something like that and yeah it, it really makes sense because we saw like you know sakura kind of tell the prince that you know like these like you know like don't kill animals or something like that like don't and the prince also kind of did something like that you know kind of shot uh, somewhere else and you know the fox ran away and okay so that was that that's the only thing that i i think it was a little bit different in a way that there were not much hints that's why they had to probably hide the hints you know the clues because it was very apparent who the culprit was here because there's only one person left and you know like the clues would probably give that away completely so that's why they probably hit it and uh, <clears throat> yeah okay let's see other than that fantastic movie you know that was really great and it had such a great story like you know like the whole like you know <laughs> same looking person like you know Ran and the princess and that was really entertaining and we also saw like obviously all everyone all the crew members you know conan's crew uh rupan's crew everyone was there and it was really nice to see like you know kind of put them side by side you know like it like zenigata was kind of like mori in a way uh no no sorry but i'm, I'm uh, like I'm, I'm i'm making a mistake not zenigata sorry mori was kind of like jigen like they can you know kind of compared it and obviously rupan is kind of like conan and they were like great partners and <laughs> they're kind of sh showing us something like that and you know all that stuff it was kind of nice to see them side by side like, you know like all the different characters and uh, okay one thing that really kind of surprised me is like okay the the, the portion where uh, keith was kind of acting really suspiciously and fishy um at that time at, at the beginning i was really suspectful of him i was thinking like what is he even trying to do is he like trying to actually separate them so that they can use like you know like um that opportunity and kill the actual princess or something i thought they were doing something like that uh but and, and there's another thing that i was really confused about i was like why is actually fujiko just like you know taking the princess on a trip you know it was just like she was just taking her on a little trip you know where like they were kind of having fun eating sushi all that stuff they were doing and hanging around i was like what like what is the actual goal here you know fujiko never does anything without any actual goal and i doubt he she just took her like you know on a trip just like that so there must be some kind of reason behind this i was kind of wondering about that and everything kind of made sense when we saw fujiko and Keith talking and they kind of like you know told us at that scene that what actually happened that it was actually Keith who made it uh, like you know like like told Fujiko to just like let her have a little <laughs> you know fun uh, as a normal girl and I'm guessing that's also why uh, Keith uh, like, took the opportunity to, to make use of Ran and that would you know kind of like it, it it served two purpose i guess you know the first purpose was obviously the princess would have enough time to actually have fun like a normal girl that was one purpose another pur purpose would be that um, the princess would be safe 
you know because run would be here but that kind of put run in a like a difficult position in a dangerous position but you know like uh like the princess will be safe especially at this type of a timing where everyone's kind of trying to kill her you know not everyone but um, a lot of people actually trying to kill her so that would be another i guess uh, it would serve a purpose so unless and until they go to uh like you know they can't go back to the country safely it would put her at a very um safe position the actual princess but as i said but that kind of puts run in harm's way in a in a way so that that's kind of bad in a like, you know in that sense it's kind of bad but you know like i guess yeah they yeah they didn't probably needed that but yeah that that was that and i realized that yeah this guy is basically just like trying to help her in her in his own way he's not the actual fishy person the actual <clears throat> suspicious person is the uncle okay one another thing that kind of i don't know confused me is that like okay that scene where the where sakura gets shot where is that section okay i'm just checking that section again um she i can see that she is standing under the sakura tree the sakura tree is huge then there's this little fox here and the branch in the sakura tree Wait, what happened here? The branch broke first. Then we heard the sound and then the then Sakura fell down. Like first what happens is the fox realizes like you know like someone shot the, like his ear twitch a little bit. Then the next scene we see uh the branch you know getting broken. Then we hear the sound like is this done to make it more dramatic I think like otherwise it doesn't make any sense I think this was probably done to make it more dramatic you know this this way And she gets shot now the one thing that really confuses me here is that How the hell Did she get shot and also the branch get broken at the same time the tree was huge it was like at, at 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 like at a higher height than her. She was standing. It's not that her head got shot. Her her torso got shot. So how is that even possible? We know that the bullet pierced her completely and pierced her went through her and then it hit the branch. So how is that even possible unless and until someone shoots her from a lower lower height? Like you know, like she, like she's standing here. The branch is on top. And her torso gets pierced and after getting pierced i'm guessing the trajectory of the bullet goes up that's why it kind of hits the branch and the branch also breaks so unless and until the trajectory is from somewhere at a really low height you know if, if you know what i'm trying to say how does that is is that even possible like you know like it would make sense if someone shot her from at her ankle height or from her knee height you know if someone shot their gun from that height it would probably go up pierce her torso torso kill her and then still keep going and hit the branch at the same time that only makes sense that's how like you know the, it, it would actually make sense so this is one portion that really confuses me a lot like how is this even possible unless and until the height from where the bullet was shot was a lot lower it doesn't make sense otherwise i don't know or who knows or maybe maybe they were actually at a lower height or something yeah that, that was like a hill wasn't it let me just check was that like a little hill um oh yeah it was a hill Okay, okay, it kind of makes sense then. Like, it, it, it was like a little hill. So, where Sakura was standing was at the highest portion of that hill. 
so most probably that's why this is something like this happened like the the uncle shot from a lot lower like you know height you know because the hill was like this you know sakura was on top and probably the uncle was somewhere here the sakura tree was here and the trajectory went this way and shot her and also shot the um the branch at the same time you know? okay that that may, if this was like a plain land i it, it would be really weird but since it was a hill like this yeah it makes sense okay uh, i can kind of understand what happened now mm. yeah that was it my god wow that was a really great uh, episode uh or tv special and <clears throat> yeah it was the the princess had her like you know what can i say a little freedom you know from her usual stuff she was happy and you know rupan also tried to get the crown but got mixed up in this <laughs> you know in the, in this uh, case and we got the um, you know the actual criminal we got him we were able to capture him and uh, yeah lupan also met conan conan and <laughs> and then the, the last thing was really funny where um okay where you know like <laughs> conan gets kind of kidnapped in a way okay another thing that was kind of surprising is rupan had actually met sakura before that's why he said that you like you know she reminded me of someone and you know like they kind of said like uh, like jigen said in the beginning that uh, this security would not be so tight if you did not mess up previously now it makes sense so he messed he, he did not mess up he actually gave it to her you know and said that i'll come to steal this again you know when this country is like you know uh, what did he actually say uh, when this country is okay uh sakura says that please steal me along with the crown i don't want to be a bird in a cage okay yeah then he you know he gives it to her and says that instead of going with me you have to fly the vast skies of this country yeah once this country becomes a great nation with your help i'll come and steal it one more time yeah that's so that's what happened it, it's not that he failed he he succeeded but then since like you know sakura said that i'll come with you let me take me away from this caged place he said that no you are the queen you need to be here with your people you need to make that this country a better place so i'm leaving this crown with you and when this country becomes a better place uh under your leadership and you lead them in a proper just way i'll come again to steal it hmm okay and then when uh, rupan asks him uh, conan that how did you realize that uh, like you know just a sec let me ask you something uh, why did you think the sakura wasn't shot on accident Oh wait, just a sec. Am I making a mistake here? Just a sec. Wait, this portion is kind of confusing me. Just a sec. So, well, this is not an accident? Like the Sakura tree? Okay, just a sec. Like Rupan says that I heard Jigen that you made up your mind as soon as you came here that it was not an accident. Uh, it was because of that broken branch. Um, no, where is it?
Okay. Okay, here it is. Um, why did you think that Sakura wasn't shot on accident? No, no, wait. Wait, that was an accident, wasn't it? Wait, did he? This, this portion is a little bit vague, I think. Isn't it? Like, so, like, Rupan is telling him that how did you realize that that was not an accident? That means he's saying that he's implying that someone deliberately shot the branch. So, does that mean that... Oh, th does that mean that uh, the uncle, he shot the branch and then shot the... Uh, then shot Sakura? Was that what happened? No, 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 no. Like, then there would be two bullets. Two bullets would be found. No, no, no. This, this, nah, yeah, yeah. Like, the thing that I said, that's what happened. He shot one bullet, the bullet pierced and hit the tree. That's why the branch fell off. Like, otherwise, this would kind of go in a completely different direction because I think only one bullet was found. And obviously, the number of bullets in the chamber would also differ. If, if you know if and I doubt he had enough time to actually manipulate that so it was only one bullet was shot and that bullet went pierced the queen and hit the branch then why is Rupa saying this portion that this was not an accident and Conan kind of explains it he, he says that the the prince also loved the tree just like his mom so he would not point his gun at the tree Oh, okay, I understand it now, what he's actually trying to do. This, this portion was uh, is worded in a little bit in a weird way. So, uh, okay, what Ru uh, uh, Rupan is actually meaning here is he, he he's trying to tell, like he says that, why do you think that was not a, an accident that was deliberately done? You know, the branch. By that, he means that, like, um, like, like, and what Conan says that in the first place, like if that was an accident, you know, it wouldn't be someone that uh, something that the prince do because he wouldn't even point his gun at the uh, um, at the tree. So it 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 is impossible to be an accident because he wouldn't do that in the first place. So the reason why, like you know, he was able, Conan was able to realize that this was not an accident made by the prince. This was something deliberately done. He came here and he was able to realize that by seeing the burnt branch tip. Okay, that's what was happening. So basically this, uh, the whole case was made up in a way that felt that the prince accidentally killed the queen. And since it was an accident, he broke down and he killed himself as well using the revolver. That's how this whole thing is made. To feel from the people who's looking at it from the outside but there was something that was happening inside which was completely different which obviously we know and Conan is saying that in the first place the whole like thing that was made here the whole story that was made here that the prince accidentally killed the uh, queen is impossible to happen because he would not uh, like you know point at the tree in itself in any way so, like, you know, the accident is impossible to happen if he doesn't point his gun at the tree. So it's not an accident. Someone did this deliberately. And that's why the Sakura tree, like, you know, was, in, like, you know, the branch broke. And that's why this is not an accident by the prince. It was done, this was something done deliberately. Okay, I realize I, this, this, this portion of the wording is a little bit weird. But, yeah, that's what is actually happening. That's what he says. Like the prince in the first place would never even point his gun at the Sakura tree. So the whole, uh, you know, like this being an accident is impossible in the first place because he wouldn't even do that. He wouldn't even point it at the tree. So whoever did this was some someone else.
Okay, I understand it now. This this portion kind of like confused me for a little bit, but yeah, I realize it. Okay, that was that. And then we see like you no know, Rupan kind of favoriting Conan <laughs> in his in his phone, and they uh, everyone knows what's like you know like the Rupan crew. They know that he's actually Shinji Kuro. Like they you like, know look for him, I guess, in the database or something. And like they, I'm guessing they're like helping Conan to get out of here because if he actually you know if he gets caught by the officials you know like the, the whole passport thing will come up and they will realize that Eduard Conan doesn't even exist that's why like you know they're like just helping him get out of here that's why using that submarine you know <laughs> and uh, yeah okay I wonder if the next movie will start from here you know like Conan is going uh, like still in the submarine was this probably from here it is going to start or probably it will start from somewhere else we don't know but we're going to see in the next week i'm going to react to uh lupin 3 versus detective corner in the movie so we'll see what happens in that is this like a real sequel or is it something else so yeah like in my animal list it is uh like you know listed as a sequel to this so who knows probably we'll see so that's it guys so that's my reaction to detective conan uh lupin 3 versus detective conan the TV special, so that was a, I really enjoyed myself because obviously, like you know, I am a huge Detective Conan fan. I've been watching this for a long time from Detective Conan, and I've been also really enjoying myself watching the Rupan movies as well. So a crossover between them two is just amazing, and I just really love this. So yeah, that was really great, a fantastic TV special, and I'm really looking forward to the movie as well next week. So that's it guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with uh, another rupan movie which is uh, directive uh, rupan 3 versus directive conan the movie i'm going to react to it next week so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day